most of agriculture, you know, is directly driven by weather. For farmers, our interest is really being able to reduce the economic impact of weather, good or, or bad. So ultimately, it's about crops being produced more efficiently, being able to distribute those crops to market more efficiently, and having a greater quality and greater amount also for that, that distribution. Also, to avoid a runoff of fertilizer or pesticides, that more efficient use of such supplies you know, also helps the farmer's bottom line. We believe precision farming driven by better weather forecasts can have a strong improvement on farm efficiency and therefore have an, a positive economic impact. But it's not just better weather forecasts, it's really trying to connect that to the, to, the, to the farm processes. So for example, with irrigation, the system is all set up to put the water down in areas that are known to need it tomorrow and won't be wasted because of, uh, because of rain. Deep Thunder is, uh, refers to sort of our system and service around the business of weather. And so by the business of weather, it means understanding the impacts of weather on business processes. Um, and it's a capability that we've been working on here at IBM Research. And it's different than what you think about like weather forecasts on, on television. Getting the better weather forecast is ultimately insufficient, even though it's a prerequisite. We really have to connect that to the business. What we do is that we're starting with better weather forecasts and then coupling that to the analytics and visualization that connect to the business processes. So the weather is where we begin, the traditional services, weather is where they end. But an important aspect of what some of those services do is that they do collect meteorological data and we build on that data. So an example of that is work we've been doing in Rio de Janeiro where we are doing weather forecasts, then using the rainfall estimates to predict flash floods. In other cases, the, the modeling that we may introduce will be based on different techniques, like statistical techniques. So our ability to predict electric outages for a utility and the restoration effort, we use statistical modeling techniques that incorporate weather and outage and other data from the, from the utility company in order to create the appropriate model for a forecast. This has been very gratifying to see that uh, these ideas are being deployed, people are using it, it's having uh, impact, has the potential to, to save lives and property. It's, uh, doesn't get, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that.